Today, the state rested its case in the Robert Bates trial. Bates is charged with second-degree manslaughter for shooting Eric Harris. Two Works For You reporter Joe Hinkey is live with what the jury learned this afternoon. Joe? Well, Brian, right now, Robert Bates' lawyers have their first witness, a forensic psychiatrist, on the stand for testimony. Earlier today, the state called its final witness, TCSO Detective Michael Heaston, to testify. He was the investigator for the shooting last April. Now, several days after the death of Eric Harris, Heaston took a detailed statement from Robert Bates. Bates wrote in that statement that he saw an opening to fire his taser and did not intend to use deadly force on Harris. He said he mistakenly grabbed and fired his gun. Bates also claimed experience in similar operations and training. Heaston, though, testified Bates never worked an operation where a felon tried to run and did not see any training in ground fighting in the past 10 years for Bates. Eric Harris's brother was critical of the state's work earlier in this trial, but says in the end they presented a solid case. I'm, uh, I'm pleased with what they, uh, what they revealed. I wish they would have went into his um, qualifications a little bit more. I wish they would have stated that the 357 that he had, he was not qualified with. Now, Clark Brewster, Bates's attorney, presented both Bates's taser, um, or a similar taser, identical to the one that he used, and gun to the jury today. Heaston testified the two have similar weights and grips, and the jury examined them. When questioned by the state, Heaston stated the, t uh, the taser requires an on switch to be turned to fire while the gun is ready to fire when loaded. Now, after the state called its final witness and rested its case, Brewster argued before the judge that this case should not move forward. Uh, the judge overruled uh, Brewster's request. I'll have his reasoning, uh, both from Brewster and the judge, coming up for you at 6. Reporting live from the Tulsa County Courthouse, Joe Hankey, two works for you.